The coastal plain of northern Lancashire has incredible archaeological potential that so far is largely unexplored. Working for Keir Highways on behalf of National Highways, Oxford Archaeology undertook excavations at Windy Harbour near Poulton the Fylde. We were joined in the summer by archaeology students from the University of Central Lancashire looking to gain fieldwork experience. These excavations took us back 8,000 years into the past, revealing a significant prehistoric landscape. At times of high sea level, the now dry Lytham Skipple Valley would have been full of seawater, with freshwater rivers feeding it from slopes forested mainly with oak, hazel and elm trees. In the Mesolithic, people were still living a largely nomadic lifestyle, following food sources with the changing seasons, and would have been attracted by this habitat. At Windy Harbour, we found stone tools that showed us places people had made camp, such as this tiny but beautiful microlith. It has changed to this white colour as a result of burning, likely from being dropped in the fire where we discovered it. We also found several fallen trees, probably killed by a flood event, and perhaps showing evidence of rising sea levels in the area. And in the hollows left behind by these tree roots, we found huge numbers of Neolithic stone tools. Now the Neolithic period is typically understood as the moment in history when people start to farm, to use pottery and to settle in one place for longer periods of time. We found evidence of this in our midden, or rubbish dump. The final layer was added by Neolithic people and contains a wheat grain which gives us the earliest carbon date, so far at least, for farming in Lancashire at circa 3800 to 3700 BC. We also found hundreds of sherds of carinated bowl, a particular form of Neolithic pottery. We made further discoveries which suggested that even 2000 or so years later, Neolithic people still remembered the locations of Mesolithic activity. They were depositing special, valuable items, like these Langdale axes, which had been intentionally burned and broken, into the water directly adjacent to where Mesolithic camps had formerly been sited. As the team made their way further up the valley, we found further evidence of human habitation, evidence of a Bronze Age settlement and funerary landscape, as well as a large Iron Age roundhouse. The funerary evidence included cremation burials in a pyre, and in the ditch surrounding the pyre, we found pieces of beaker pottery and an archer's wrist guard. These excavations at Windy Harbour have not only filled a huge gap in our understanding of prehistory in Lancashire, but show that our draw to this landscape has been present for thousands of years.